One of the most frequently asked questions is that how can I connect laptops or AC appliances such as a fan or battery charger directly to a solar panel? The answer is no, you cannot do that. You need something like this in the middle to act as a buffer to convert the 18 volts DC power to AC power. Please like and subscribe to support my channel. Thank you. The removable AC inverter attachment on top. So not only I can use these USB-C ports to charge the MacBook, I can also use the AC adapter and connect to the MacBook that provides 140 watts maximum charging power. This one here on the left is rated at 100 watts max. I recommend using this port 100 watts rated PD port for charging laptops and uh, high power consumption devices like an iPad and use the other USB-C port for charging iPhones uh, which is really maxed out at 18 watts. Additional DC outputs in the back and one DC input that can take in the solar panel rated at 100 watts max. This USB-C port is a bi-directional port, which means you can use it to recharge the battery bank as well and don't have to use the solar port in the back. By no means perfect. I just want to mention this little drawback here. When charging from the solar panel, this 100 watts PD port is disabled. Only the 20 watts available. Therefore, to get the maximum charging speed, AC power adapter is required but with that said this is the most compact solution I could found that uh, would be able to allow pass-through charging and an AC inverter at a reasonable uh, power output 200 watts normally if you are not charging from the solar panel you can totally use the 100 watts PD output that you can see from here, I'm outputting 90 watts, 96 watts. It is a very, very capable 100 watts rated PD charger. And of course, I can connect more devices to it. I just connected a iPhone 13 and a little electric drill to the battery pack to recharge them. I still have one port left. The AC inverter is controlled by this button, long press to turn it on or off. If you don't need it, you can totally take it off by unscrewing this little screw and remove the top, seal the top and have a very compact setup if you don't need the AC module. There's nothing preventing me from adding a little power strip as long as I keep the total power consumption under 200 watts. In this case, I'm adding a DeWalt fast charger and a little fan. Now it's charging and my fan is on. So the whole power got cut off and because it exceeded the 228 watts. Actually, it handled a little bit higher than the expected 200. So I'm gonna disconnect my MacBook. I remove the MacBook charger. In this case, I'm just gonna test the fan as, as well as the DeWalt charger and charging all the smaller accessories like a phone and a drill. I'm going to turn on the AC power again by just a short press here. Well, I just realized this DCB118 draws too much power and will constantly cause the unit to shut down automatically. However, there's no fuse to replace. Uh, I have replaced the charger in this test case to a DCB115, which is, works a bit slower, but more stable. This thing is currently being recharged from the solar panel, powering the charger uh, and it can, I can still run a fan, a DeWalt fan at full speed. I believe the fan is some, somewhere around. Let, let's disconnect all the other smaller devices and just run the AC ones. The fan is running at, you can see the power output. 
16 watts. That is nothing. Adding one charger to this AC power strip. 109 watts. So there you have it, a really compact off the grid setup for power tools, chargers or laptops running off a solar panel. Now this is how you can indirectly charge the battery packs or laptops use AC appliances with the iMoto power station in the middle. Now let's head back to my studio and I'll show you more details about this power bank. This USB-C port is a bi-directional port, which means you can use it to recharge the battery bank as well and don't have to use the solar port in the back. Just use the same USB-C cable. With a 100 watt charger, I'll be able to recharge it at full speed. The detachable AC module is a clever idea. It not only reduces the weight, but also the size. It interfaces with the main module with a plug like this and secured using a quarter inch screw on top. There's a flashlight. So long press to power it on. Single press to change its brightness. I'm going to turn off my light here. And another press that goes even brighter. Finally, it goes into the SOS signal mode and cycles through. Long press to turn it off. It's pretty bright. And the power consumption is displayed here as I increase the brightness. Increases the power consumption as well. There is uh, a runtime estimated runtime number, the battery percentage, if I'm charging, then this button will be able to cycle through the input and output options. Out and in. USB Type-C. There are two icons displayed when it's doing output. Very well made. Uh, is, I believe this is aluminum body, which is great for heat dissipation. Top is plastic. It's a sealed unit. The specifications are printed down here. You can read if you're interested. 200 watts max. Yeah, great design, very compact. I really like this unit. It's a cube. <laughs> Love it. All right, thank you very much for watching. Hope you find this review helpful. Imuto Power Cube. It is a battery bank that has 138 watt hour capacity. The specs are in the back. It can also be connected to a Power Cube AC inverter attachment. So we can connect AC appliances to the battery bank and not just limited to charging smaller electronics. Let's do a quick unboxing. Type-C to Type-C cable included. I assume it is power delivery, recharging and discharging by directional. Currently charging the power bank using iMuto 90 watts charger. That's the power output. Input is around 85 watts. And it kind of cycles through the power consumption and the power input. Now let's take a look at all the ports. First of all, we got the bi-directional USB-C port here for charging and discharging. It's an in-out. So rated 100 watts max. Power on-off switch, dual USB-A ports with 4.8 amps combined. And then the USB-C uh, outputs with 20 watts max output, a display that shows the battery status and all the ports status. I can enable the USB ports by pressing this button. 
and the flashlight, which is pretty bright. Long press to turn off. And then on this side, we got a couple of um, 12 volts output rated at 10 amps, so 100, 120 watts max. And there's an input for uh, solar charging, I suppose. If I have a connected solar panel to this port, I should be able to charge it via solar panel. Cool, yeah. And there is a little carrying bag. So it does not have a built-in handle. So this ha th this port is, uh, I mean, this handle is pretty convenient. Let's cover this port, which is supposed to be used with the AC inverter. The inverter attachment for power cube. It is rated at 200 watts max. The spec is in the back. Let's see how it works. This port obviously is designed to be inserted here on top. And there's a quarter inch adapter. So let's try this. Okay, that's real tight. With this attachment, I'll be able to use AC appliances with this power bank and not just limited to those USB ports. A single short press turns this outlet on and long press to turn it off. For example, we can always connect additional chargers to it as long as we stay within its 200 watts maximum power rating. And we can also run lights or fan during a power outage so that's the quick overview of this AC attachment accessory for iMoto.